I have been kindly gifted some beauty products from Harrington's Pharmacy based in Clonakilty, West Cork. They are now online and have nationwide delivery and free delivery over 39 euros. I'm wearing the Bellamy Antitan by Maura Higgins. This is the face water in medium and I've also used the luxury tanning mousse in medium as well which is absolutely gorgeous and really easy to apply. I apply the Showlista, yeah I know I look scary, the Showlista brightening mask. Um, absolutely beautiful, keep it on for 20 minutes just to brighten up the skin. It exfoliates and hydrates and I've used the excess liquid in the package just to massage into my skin once the mask has come off. I use the Max Factor Miracle Prep Primer. This primer is amazing to illuminate skin and just to rehydrate the skin. I'm going to do a summer look today so this primer is absolutely perfect for the look I have in mind. Harrington's in Clonakilty stock the full range of Sculpted by Amy Connolly. These are amazing products if you haven't tried them already. What I'm using on my skin is the second skin, which is her foundation. It's a very, very light foundation on the skin. The color that I'm using is medium 4.0. It has a sun protection factor of 50, which is fantastic for daytime wearers. It is 100% mineral um, based, which again, it helps our skin to breathe and it's very very easy to be applied it is oil free and this is the matte one that i have applied on my skin i'm using the amy connelly beauty buffer brush which has a buffer for foundation at one side and it has a concealer um, brush on the other side Next, I'm using the Brighten Up Concealer, again from Sculpted by Amy Connolly. I'm applying this just underneath my eye, on the inside and on the outside, to the corners of my nose and down my chin area. If there's any other blemishes on my skin, I will apply it here too. I'm using the same brush, the Beauty Buffer brush with the concealing side. And as you can see, I'm just gently buffing it into the skin very, very lightly and just be careful not to drag underneath the eyes. You can see there the difference in the two eyes and how bright it makes it look. And um, this is the golden color that I'm applying right now. To set the makeup, I'm using the Max Factor Miracle Veil Radiant Loose Powder and just applying it with a big fluffy brush just on the areas that you feel may need to be set. So brows next, and I was so excited to hear that I was going to be using this product. This is the Be Perfect Indestructi Brow Soap Bars. So to activate the soap bar, you spray a little bit of water and then use your spoolie back and forth on the soap bar until you have enough on it to apply it to the brows. Use upward movements and as you can see there I'm feathering them out really really slowly and just separate them all out as you work upwards and across the brow. If you find that any of your brow hairs are a little bit longer, what you can do is just gently taper over the top of them with a spoolie as well and that will help. Now I'm using a brow shaper from Max Factor and this is in the color Dear Brown. And what I'm doing, I'm just gently filling in where I need to off my brow with small strokes, little flicks along the brow. I'll do the same to the other side. And don't be too heavy handed doing this technique. At the other side of this brow shaper is a brow brush and I am gently combing through all the color from the products that I've applied and just combing through the soap bar as well, just to set it properly. I don't like mine feathered too much, so I'm setting them into place as you can see. Another palette that I was dying to use is the Full Face Edit Palette, and this is the Radiance Palette, again from Amy Connolly from the Sculpted Range. So the first uh, part of the palette that I'm using is the Contour Palette. So a lovely, lovely bronze color, and um, very, very easy to apply, high pigmented, so you can build it up quite gradually. So I'm applying it here on my cheekbones, underneath the cheekbones, the temple, and down along the jawline. And if you look now, um, after I have this applied, do you see the difference that contouring makes, especially in the cheek area of both sides of the face?
There are two blush pigments in this palette. There is a cream pigment, which is the rose colored one in the middle, which I am using now. And I am buffing it on with a little brush. You can apply it as well with the finger, but I'm just um, dispersing it quite evenly along my cheeks. The other blush then that is there is a peach blush and that is in a powdered form. Onto the highlighter and again the highlighter is in a cream form. Very very subtle, it's not very noticeable but I like that for a daytime look and I'm applying it here with my finger. So onto the eyes now and I'm going back into the same colour that I used to contour which is the bronzy colour. I'm getting a fluffy brush and just pick up a tiny little bit of this and use it as your transition colour just in your cut crease. Just sweep it across the eye and buff it in gently. You don't have to be too heavy handed with this, just keep it nice and light. Next I'm going in with this cream eyeshadow and this is a beautiful bronze, you can see it there when it's applied, beautiful bronze cream eyeshadow. I'm sweeping this right across my lower lid just to make my eyes pop and then with a clean brush I'm just blending the transition colour and that bronzy colour together. I'm using the Note um, Smoky Eye Pencil and this is in copper, lightly applying it just underneath my lash line and there's a little smudgy part at the opposite side that I'm using just to smudge it in so it will be a softer look. Back to one of my favourites for my mascara. This is the Max Factor Masterpiece Max. I've been using this for years in the blackest black and love it, waterproof, smudge proof, tear proof. It's absolutely fantastic. So I'm applying two coats of this all over my lashes. So the next product that I am going to use is the Volscara Lashes. This is absolutely amazing. For anyone who finds it really, really hard to apply lashes or if you find them too fake looking, these are just perfect. They're very, very wispy. They go on individually just like that. So what you do is you apply the Bond layer underneath your own natural lash and then you apply the false lash then underneath as well. So they don't sit on top, they sit underneath just like that. I have just applied two of them and I'm just giving them a little clamp there now. They may be a little bit tacky while I was doing that but just wait for a little while before you clamp them and then you apply the finishing product, product which is the sealer just underneath again and voila there you go. For my lips, I'm going to pop on the Max Factor um, Lip Scrub, so it's the Miracle Prep Lip Scrub. Apply it on and then massage it in with the finger. This is absolutely brilliant. And then just remove any of the excess then with a baby wipe or with a warm face cloth. I'm going to apply the Lip Duo again from Sculpted from Amy Connolly. Um, this is in the nude colour, so I'm applying this, the lip liner on one side and then you have the lipstick on the other side. great thing about the full face palette is that you can really use and combine different blushers and eyeshadows if you wish. So here I'm going using the blush, the cream blush, which is the pinky tone on the lips as well as a lip tint. So just to make it a slight little bit more rosy for me rather than the nude color and it changes it up totally. It's beautiful. I'm going to finish off by using the, the cream highlighter just on the arch of my brows, just a tiny little bit on the cheeks if needed, top of the nose and the cupid's bow on my lips.